this time of year we have uh, some troublesome weeds in the lawn and one of them that really sticks out is yellow nut sedge. One of my favorites because it seems to be more and more popular. Um, in the last five to ten years we've been seeing more and more every year. And some people attribute that too as we're getting wetter, wetter springs, wetter years, and yellow nut sedge thrives in that, in that condition. Um, so one way to tell that you have this problem in your lawn is to basically notice the yellow leaves popping through uh, above the turf canopy. And that's one telltale sign that it's probably yellow nut sedge. Um, one other way to look at it is, you know, you have these leaves popping up and if you actually get down close and look at one of them, uh, you can see that they're in groups of threes. They have shiny characteristics on top. Uh, if you actually cut them, you can tell that they have a triangular shape, and that is the telltale sign that it's yellow nut sedge. Um, it's not typical to control this with any of your normal, uh, normal herbicides. So you want to make sure that you're identifying it, making sure it's the correct one. And what you can do then is basically treat this product or treat this weed when you see it and typically that happens in early June uh, maybe in the end of May and that's when you want to control it because later in the year uh, this time of year especially it's going to start sending out these rhizomes and we're going to get tubers or nutlets forming and once that happens we're not going to be able to control those tubers or nutlets and we're going to have to plan on controlling them next year so it's a multi-year process especially if you have a uh, thick stand of nut sedge and it keeps growing year after year, it's probably going to take two to three years to actually get those nutlets under control. But treating early and uh, sometimes it takes a sequential application uh, to actually control them completely. So what we can do is uh, go in with some products that work well on nut sedge. Uh, Halo Sulfuron, Sulfentrazone, uh, those two products are the most common. Solero is a new one which is Iodosulfuron and that one also works well in controlling nut sedge. But it probably takes at least two applications to get good control uh, the first year around. So here at our research center, we have beautiful nut sedge crop. And what we're gonna look at is some of the different competitions between turf and uh, some of the thinned areas. And that makes a huge difference in when you're trying to control sedge is having a healthy lawn. We conduct this research to understand how does yellow nut sedge invade your home lawn. So in each of this three by three plot, we had one single yellow nut sedge tuber plot planted May last year. And this is what happened after one growing season. When the tuber was planting in the bare soil, they pretty much take over the entire plot within one growing season. Versus when they were planted at the center of a healthy Kentucky bluegrass turf, you can see that uh, their invasiveness have been greatly reduced. Uh, so the take home message of this study is that maintaining a healthy turf is the key to reduce the invasiveness of yellow nussage. So if you do find this in your lawn, you wanna make sure that you treat it very early because if you wait too long, this, the tubers are gonna be formed already and you're not gonna get very good control for the next season. So if you find this in your lawn, you can look for those characteristics of the yellow leaves or the triangular leaf shape and also, if it's growing really tall, you're gonna end up with these yellow flowers on top.